Hey guys, I got another unboxing for uh, video for you today. Uh, pardon my wrist here, I've got uh, carpal tunnel and it's flaring up, so... You got the part in that part, but I'm using the Kershaw Blur to open this package. So let's get this out of here. Yeah, my first thoughts, it'll be a little bit limited since my right hand is all wrapped up, but... Don't worry about the scotch tape, I just got that because, well, I needed free shipping and that fixed it. But, as you can see, it's a Kershaw here. And let's see what side is it on, there we go. It's a Kershaw speed bump, I haven't used this before. And Let me partially unwrap my hand here so I can at least do this video, don't worry about it, I just need to keep my wrist stable. Yeah, let's see. Let's get this out of the box here. Alright, they have their little important information booklet in here, all that good stuff. And I know this looks weird, but trust me when I say I needed to do this. And we'll get the knife out of the package. First time I've ever seen the knife package with actually silica pa uh, packets before. That's kind of unique. But there's a knife for you. It's a speed bump. Wow, that's kind of weird. There we go. I, have, I really like the uh, shape of the blade. This is a discontinued model. They're not making it anymore. And uh, this is a Chinese made version. They did have an American made version. This is a Kenungian design as well. I'm just trying to figure out how this actually works. Wow, I don't know how it works. Oh, that's how you do it. Interesting, it's not a liner lock. So, and these are, you could use them as thumb studs, but they're not really. You really can't get into them easily to use as a thumb stud, so you have to use it as a flipper. So there, there you go. It's not very fast, and to unlock it, since it does have the safety feature, you got to do that. So you can use these as thumb studs; they're very difficult. But to close it back up, you've got to push forward on these two, and then it'll close up. It's not the fastest opening, Kershaw, and. Let me get a weight for you here while I'm thinking about it. And it's a heavy Kershaw too. It's five and five point three two ounces, so definitely on the heavier side. I'll roll in every all the stats at the end of the video as as always. From what I can tell, this actually feels nice in the hand. Got a little bit of jumping back here on the blade. Which helps. I like the feel the uh, pocket clip is not reversible, so you are stuck with just tip up carry. No other options. None down here. There is a lanyard hole, so I'll keep that in mind. If that's going to really bug you, it bugs me a little, but I like the shape of the blade so much. I just had to go with it. Well, let's get to a sharpness test, and then I'll only it be just some regular printer paper. Definitely helps if I do it on the right side. Kind of interesting there. It didn't. It didn't like that paper. Let's try the phone book paper. The tip is sharp, that's razor sharp, but the back of the blade here is not sharp at all. Definitely got to strop this and maybe actually sharpen it because the back portion is not sharp. As soon as I get to the, the belly, then it gets sharp, but back here, forget it, well, it's not sharp at all. Let's see if I can show you again. Doesn't want to... Sh doesn't want to cut, 
it'll cut from the belly, but if I try cutting back here, even really close to my hand, it just wants to tear it. Kind of disappointing there on that on that front. I was not expecting that. We'll see if the the tip and the belly shave. Nope, they don't shave, so it does not come extremely sharp. So keep that in mind. It's kind of disappointing for a Kershaw's, but again, I never bought this to be an EDC knife. I bought this because I like the shape of the blade, but definitely will sharpen it because it's going to need it. But otherwise, I like the way it looks and feels. Pocket clips on there nice and sturdy. Sorry. So let's close this back up. Blade centering. Not centered really well. It's a little bit off to the side, but not much. Um, let's see if there's any blade play. Got to remember to use the, the flipper. And there is no blade play, which is a major thing. Well, there we go. I've talked for over six minutes here, so... We'll let it go. I uh, hope you found that... Uh, uh, informational anyway. After I get it sharp, I'll do some testing for you and give you all the results. Thanks for watching.